Well, it's a pleasure being here tonight because we get to share about our other culture, both being missionary kids. And so, in fact, uh, they've termed us as third cultured kids. And uh, our pastor's one of those since mm -hmm. he grew up some overseas also. So, uh, but the first thing I want to do is I want to read a couple of scriptures that really describe our families and the, the family tree that we've come to. And just to let you know, the only reason we're here tonight is to praise the Lord Jesus. And we stand on the shoulders of those that have gone before us. Amen. So the word of the Lord and calling guided our families. Isaiah 6, 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, here am I, send me. And then Acts 16, 30 through 31 says, And after he brought them out, he said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they spoke the word of the Lord. To him together with all who all who were in the house and in, in his house. And this was the, the, the jailer speaking. Now, 101 years ago, Naomi's grandparents, J.J. Kalser, Grace, and their oldest daughter, Helen. And just a little side note, they were members of this church before they went to Brazil. Uh, they arrived in Rio de Janeiro at the end of January 1921, sent by the FMB of Richmond, now known as the IMB. Several years later, Aunt Esther and my father-in-law, George, were born in Rio de Janeiro. My grandfather was responsible for building the graphic park at the Casa Publicadora Batista, Baptist Publishing House in Rio a board of the National Baptist, Brazilian Baptist Convention, being the largest graphic park in Latin America for many years. My grandfather, along with another missionary, wanted to create an entity to bring Bibles, to print Bibles in Brazil. Because of World War II, Bibles in Portuguese that came from Europe and the United States no longer arrived. In 1942, the Brazilian Bible Press was organized becoming the first to print Bibles on national territory. In 1956, they had produced half a million Bibles on Brazilian soil. That's why my grandfather called himself a millionaire, a Bible millionaire. The next slide is of Naomi and me at the Brazilian Biblical Press in 1984 with both sets of parents. This man was a boy when her grandfather hired him. He was so very grateful for the job, which took him off the streets and gave him a way to help his parents and then his own family financially. During our visit, we were shown the process of applying gold to the outside edges of the Bible. We brought one of those. These have not been used much because they are commemorative Bibles. So the gold is very visible. The next one has been used and you can see it's been rubbed off. This Bible actually contains three parts, the Bible, concordance, and a song book all in one. This photo coming up shows, along with Naomi's parents standing under the sign of the J.J. Calcert Street, which runs along the side of the graphic park. And by the way, not many foreigners get their name on a street mm -hmm. in Brazil, especially in Rio. My grandfather always pastored during their 40 years as missionaries. In Rio de Janeiro, he pastored the Fourth Baptist Church, the Baptist Church of Tomás Coelho, and the First Baptist Church of Belford Rocho in Baixada Fluminense. My grandmother was a music teacher at Colégio Batista Shepherd, Shepherd Baptist School. 
and was one of the founders of ITC, the Christian Women's Training Center, which changed names twice and is now known as CA. She had always been involved in the area of music and churches. They spent all 40 years in the city of Rio de Janeiro and retired in 1960. Now, my father-in-law, George Bagby Calcer, was actually a Brazilian and American. He was born and raised in Rio de Janeiro, actually one street over from where I grew up, and returned to Brazil with my mother-in-law, Hilda Calcer, being appointed as missionaries from the FMB, which is obviously part of the IMB now, in 1952. They arrived in Brazil after only four months of being married. Then Naomi, the oldest, was the firstborn, then Norma, Elena, and then Jack, the youngest. My father-in-law pastored churches in the Brazilian states of São Paulo, Minas Gerais, Rio Grande do Sul, Goiás, and Goiânia, as well as the Espírito Santo. As a family together, they planted a church in Goiás. Naomi has very fond memories as a teen, co-teaching the adult Sunday school class with her parents. My father was the executive secretary of two of the states they worked in, the Gaúcha Baptist Convention and the Goiás Baptist Convention. He was also the director of the Department of Christian Education in the state of Espiritu Santo and helped to plant the Baptist Seminary, S-E-T-E-B-E-S, -E -E where he and my mother were teachers. My mother-in-law was the director of the WMU, the Women's Missionary Union, or in Portuguese, União Feminina Missionária in Goiás and in the state of Espiritu Santo, and also served on the executive board of the National UFM. She wrote for all the Brazilian WMU magazines, Mission Friends, Girls in Action, Young Women, Mosaic Missions. She is the author of Contando Historias, which is a practical book on the art of moral and biblical storytelling. In Vitoria on June 6, 1986, my father-in-law died. I was suddenly at his home at the age of 61. Excuse me. Uh, a man zealous for his physical health. He always took care of himself. Uh, he was a missionary for 34 years. Some missionaries, when they are widowed, return to their homeland. During the year, the IMB had mom return to the U.S. for mourning and decision-making. God gave her a vision of what work she was to pursue. God gave her a vision of, sorry, she took several courses in computer science, acquired eight used computers, with all the required documentation to transport into Brazil, moved to Rio de Janeiro, where she spent another seven years serving at the national headquarters of the Brazilian Baptist WMU, UFMBB, as a promotion secretary. Upon arrival back in Brazil and some discussion and convincing of the executive director of the Brazilian National WMU, she gave and taught the personnel in each department how to use the computers. God used her to put this Baptist institution on the front line in terms of modernization. It was the first institution of Brazilian Baptist to be fully computerized, and they published 10 magazines that were prepared in office and sent by zip drive to the printer. She returned to the United States to retire after 41 years of service in Brazil. My parents, Jerry and Johnny Key, went to Brazil by ship in 1959, arriving in Rio after two weeks of travel. And by the way, they were known as the boat people, but 
it wasn't like, you know, it was, it was kind of half freighter and half. So anyway, it's, a, <laughs> it's a, aside, aside <laughs> being met by my future grandfather-in-law at the ship in Rio in 1959, not knowing that two of his granddaughters were going to be married, two of the key brothers. Uh, this is a picture of Naomi with her grandparents right here. Jerry and Johnny raised three sons, Stan, Jay, and Guy, as well as their daughter, Jaron, on the mission field. Brazilians love to tease them, saying they had to move to Brazil in order to have a girl. Now, my dad, having been ordained minister at the age of 18, began working at churches during his pursuit of college and seminary degrees. His last church prior to going to the mission field was Floyd Baptist Church near Greenville, Texas, which interestingly enough was later pastored by my youngest brother, Guy Key. In Brazil, my dad was a pastor and a church starter. He also mentored many young pastors, including at least eight at the Fundação First Baptist Church. My father-in-law was hired by the IMB as professor of homiletics. He taught at the seminary in Rio, the South Brazil Seminary, as well as the Christian Women's Training Center, CM, the same one my grandmother helped found and taught in. He authored the book, José da Silva, Um Pregador Leigo, published in Portuguese and Spanish and used for teaching preaching to not only seminary students, but also lay preachers. My mother, Johnny Helen, was active with the music and children's ministry of the churches. My mother was the only IMB missionary to graduate from the South Brazil Seminary. She also taught at both institutes. She taught for 25 years and dad taught for 36 years. Together, they led marriage enrichment seminars, building strong families. Mom and dad impacted thousands of lives for the kingdom of God, sharing Christ, leading to salvation through personal witness, faithful pastoring, seminary training, and love for people. My sister, Elena, is the third generation named Calcert in Brazil. Her husband, and Jay's brother, Guy Key, were appointed missionaries to Brazil in 1984, also by the IMB. They arrived in Brazil when their oldest son was just two years old. Then their daughter, Christina, and youngest daughter, Vanessa, were born. They have worked over the years on church planting emphasis in both the states of Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. In 2012, they were invited by the IMB for a new and different work. It was about helping the CBB, which is the Brazilian Baptist Convention, through its missionary boards, both the JMM, their Brazilian IMB, and their JMN, which is their version of the NAM, in missionary mobilization. Also, Brazil sends missionaries to over 80 countries around the world. Uh, God has given Guy and Elena a mentoring ministry to Brazilian missionaries, and they work today with potential Brazilian candidates for missionary work in Brazil, as well as cross-cultural contacts going to nations all around the world. They also continue to this day working with new church planners, training and encourage them to fulfill the Great Commission. Today, their family has 11 members, and they all continue serving the Lord Jesus. Naomi and I have known each other since we were seven years old, beginning today, our last semester in college. We went back to Brazil to get married, and that was almost 45 years ago. We as a couple have done volunteer mission work in Brazil and other countries. Here is the boat we were on for 10 days working with the people who live along the Amazon River. Jay worked interpreting for the doctors serving the community. I worked with Vacation Bible School with the children. 
Naomi has authored a book for the Brazilian Baptist WMU on the mental and emotional growth of children. She served on the board of directors of the WMU of Texas. Currently, she is the director of Tarrant Baptist Association WMU and is also serving on the TBA committee. Jay has served as a deacon for the past 39 years in churches we have been members of. He currently serves as the tech director here at Gamble Street Baptist Church. God has given our families a great legacy with the Calcerts currently serving 101 years and the Keys serving for 76. Our, our prayer, prayer is, is that, that we and, and the, the generations, generations to come, come will be found, found faithful. faithful.